Ah, Chris, you're just in time. It's 2.30. So? Well, you know what happens at 2.30. Uh, is it time for your nap? No! At 2.30... 2... .30, 2 30, we go to the dentist! 2.30. Anyway, come on, we've got to get an x-ray of your teeth. Fine, OK. To the cupboard of everything. Hi, Annie. Hi, Chris. Hi, Annie. Wow, Hi. there really is everything in your cupboards, aren't X-ray complete. <laughs> now, this is called an orthopantomogram. Oh, no, it isn't. Oh, yes, it, no, it's not that kind of panto, Zand. The panto stands for the technique used, panoramic tomography. Now, the amazing thing about this is that you can see the whole tooth. If you look in your mouth, you can actually only see the top third. That's the crown, the white bit. But on the X-ray, we can see what's below the gum. Your teeth have roots, and they're twice as long as the crown. Now, that X-ray is really cool, Chris, but there's a lot more going on inside your tooth, and I'm going to show you using this huge model. But, Zon, we don't need a huge model, because today we've got the real thing. This is a tooth that's been given to us by a dentist that's been cut in half. What? You cut the dentist in half? No, Zon, the tooth has been cut in half. The dentist is absolutely fine. For you. Now, your teeth are made of amazing stuff. The glossy white surface layer is called enamel. It protects the whole tooth, and it's the hardest substance in your entire body. But it can be worn away by acidic drinks and sugary food, and it won't grow back once it's gone, so look after it. Now, underneath is the layer called the dentin, and underneath the dentin is the pulp. And they're sensitive layers of living tissue, and they support the enamel. They both contain nerves, which means that problems in your teeth can be painful. But have you ever noticed that your teeth are different shapes? Why is that? Well, we're going to show you. Only an edible experiment can answer that question. Ta -da! Why are you wearing that? We need to have a good close-up look. What Zahn's trying to say is that he's ready for the experiment and he wants to have a good close-up look at the different shapes of teeth, so he's using a mouth stretcher. That's what I said! So let's have a look at the four different types of teeth in Zahn's mouth, because they all do different jobs. At the front, we have incisors. Four at the top and four at the bottom. <coughs> just behind the incisors, there are canines. <coughs> and then just behind the canines, there are the <coughs> premolars. And just behind the premolars are the molars. But why do we need these four different types of teeth? Well, we're going to find out in... A terrific tooth testing test! We're going to see what happens when we bite and chew different foods using our teeth, but not our normal teeth of different shapes. We're going to be using... These! <laughs> we both have a custom-made set of gnashers, but they're made up of only one type of tooth. Zand has a full set of molars... So he's Team Molar. Chris has a mouthful of canines. So he's Team Canine. Our challenge is to bite into a range of food and chew it. Reveal the food. Then, rather than swallowing the food, we'll spit it out and see which type of tooth has worked best. First up, a sandwich. Mm. With soft food, Team Mola chews brilliantly. Whereas Team Canine can bite, but definitely can't chew. What you can see there is a perfect bite of sandwich, completely unchewed. What about eating a hard apple? I can't get any. I can't get any apple. Team Mola is really bad at biting. And Team Canine has a good bite, but can't chew it. You should give it to me and I can chew it up for you. What, and then give it back to me and I could swallow it? No, that's disgusting. And it's the same story with a steak. I can tear it off easily, but then I can't chew it. Watch. Well, I can chew it, but I can't actually get a piece off. Hmm, you're just pulverising it. So, who won that one then, Chris? Well, I don't think either of us did very well, did we? What a disaster. It proved exactly what we wanted, Zand. Only having one shape of tooth makes eating impossible. You need your sharp, pointy canines at the front for biting, and then your flat, wide molars at the back for mashing food up. So, we've shown you that the crowns of your teeth are covered in a hard layer called enamel, and inside your teeth you have layers called dentin and pulp, which are packed with nerves. And we've shown you that you have four types of teeth for a very good reason. 
Different shaped teeth have different jobs, and only by them working together can you eat safely. Well, Chris, what better way to celebrate our teeth than with a brand new profile picture? What do you think?